Well, good evening, everybody. I hope that you're, everyone is well and staying healthy in the midst of everything going on in our world. It's good to uh, have an opportunity to talk to you all. I know that I miss you and I'm really looking forward to the day that we can gather together again soon. A little while ago, JJ asked me to, uh, talk to you a little bit about what God has been teaching me in the midst of COVID-19. And if I am honest with you, it's been a humbling uh, couple of weeks as God has uh, really taken a, a spotlight to some unexplored areas of my heart and has taught me an awful lot of things over the course of the last few weeks. My wife, Lauren, uh, she just came up and she said, Sammy, what are some of the things that God has been teaching you in the midst of COVID-19? And I listed a couple of those things and uh, and and said, you know, it, it's been a really good season because God has taught me a lot. I just wish it was under different circumstances. And she stopped me uh, in a way that only my sweet wife can. And she said, you know, I understand that. Uh, but at the same time, the truth is that we have this inexplicable joy accessible to us every moment of every day, no matter what is going on in our world, because we have the presence of God in our lives. And, and when she said that to me, it just floored me uh, because I realized that she was right. Uh, in the last couple of months, we've had so many things pulled out from under us, whether uh, it's been security with our, our work situation, uh, whether it's been relationships with family members, uh, relationships that we haven't been able to grow and, and develop with friends, uh, whether it's been financial security or sporting events or so many different things. It seems that uh, in the last couple of months, the world has just been flipped on its head. But there's one thing that that hasn't changed in the slightest, and and that is that we have the presence of God with us despite everything else that's going around. Uh, one particular verse that's been so tremendously encouraging to me over the course of the last several weeks has been Psalm chapter 16, verse 11. I want to read that verse for you. Uh, Psalm 1611 says, you will make known to me the path of life. And in your presence is the fullness of joy. In your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And I, I love that last verse for a whole bunch of reasons, but in particular, I love the last two parts where it says, in your presence is the fullness of joy. And in your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And, and I love it because uh, God is reminding us that, that in his right hand, he gives us all of these great things, these things like relationships, these things like family, these things like a, a church body, uh, sporting events, music, uh, work to do. God gives us all of these gifts with his right hand. But yet it says that the place where we find the fullness of joy, the fullness of joy is in his presence. And uh, I uh, know that there's been a tremendous amount of, of challenges as a result of COVID-19 in our world. I know there's been a lot of hurt, a lot of unsecure, uh, insecurity, uh, a lot of uncertainty about what's going to happen next. Uh, and I don't know the answers to everything that's going to come in this next season of life for any of us. But what I do know is that the presence of God is going to be there with us in the midst of it. And that no matter what happens, we can have incredible joy because because of the presence of God, we have, uh, as, as this passage says, we have the fullness of joy. And so I know I, I am praying to experience a, a deeper fullness of joy in the presence of God in the midst of this season uh, for my own heart. I'm praying that for my family's heart. And um, I will also be praying it for every member uh, and every person who is within our church. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Uh, stay healthy and um, we will we will see you later. Thanks.